punters were left delighted after Wednesday's card at the Cheltenham Festival was given the go-ahead, despite the threat of Storm Gareth. A 7 a.m. inspection announced that the strength of the winds, threatening to wreck Ladies' Day, had moderated and that the action would go ahead. That led to relief amongst race goers, a relief that turned to anticipation as Cheltenham prepares for Alty Orr's bid to join the select band of greats to have won at four consecutive Cheltenham festivals. Alty Orr will join the likes of Ackle and Iste Brack if he justifies his status as odds on favourite in the day's feature race. The Queen Mother Champion Chase Sky Sports News presenter Hayley McQueen summed it all up perfectly, tweeting en route to the event, Thank God it's not been called off today, en route to at Cheltenham races will be taking on board absolutely no tips and betting completely randomly. Looking forward to the hash Ladies Day hash colour me March Simon Clares, clerk of the course and southwest head of racing for the jockey club said, We're delighted that the weather conditions have changed from the initial forecasts and the prospect of higher wind speeds and gusts have receded. We're looking forward to a fantastic day's racing on the old course with the feature race the £400,000 grade 1 bitway Queen Mother Champion Chase. Another horse looking to further cement his legacy on ladies. There will be Tiger Roll, the 2018 Grand National winner, once described as a little rat of a thing by his owner Michael O'Leary, aiming for a fourth success at the festival. A. O'Leary, who runs the Gigginstown Stud Operation, says, He's a wonderful, wonderful horse, and the complete overachiever. He never knows when he's beaten and keeps surprising everybody. However, there have once more been calls for Cheltenham to be abandoned, following the death of Ballyward after day one. The Willie Mullins trained horse sustained an injury in the National Hunt Chase and had to be put down. Animal Aid's horse racing consultant Dean Stans all said, since 2007, at least 97 horses have lost their lives as a result of racing at Cheltenham. It's not, therefore, unreasonable to stop racing at Cheltenham in order to save horses' lives. If Santa Anita Racecourse can do this after a spate of deaths, then so can Cheltenham. The spotlight is now on the racecourse and the British Horse Racing Authority to act with immediate effect. But Cheltenham responded on Wednesday, declaring, As animal lovers, we hate to lose any horse and of course we shall review this incident. Our thoughts are with the Ballywards connections, 